come to Alliance, Nebraska and you can see Car Henge. Oh, it's not meant to be this cold. Why is it so cold? Well, good morning from the Gaylord Hotel here in Denver, Colorado. And um, this hotel's actually really nice. Um, it's a proper luxury resort. There's like snow tubing and ice skating and all sorts. And what's more, the airport is literally just over there. Today, we are leaving the Gaylord Hotel in Denver and heading to the least used airport in the whole of the mainland US. As airport hotels go, the Gaylord is a pretty decent one. I can actually see me bringing Rachel for a winter getaway later in the year. I mean, this is just the lobby and they've even got a full-size train in here. Denver Airport is absolutely huge. Just the drive in from the perimeter fence to the terminal building is over five miles and takes 10 minutes to drive. So the least used airport in the lower 48 is a place called Alliance in Nebraska, which is about an hour long flight from here. To get there, we have to take a ride with an airline called Denver Air Connection. On board is Swearing and Metro Line, and they're very rare. Here in the US, certainly, it's the only chance you're gonna to get to ride on a Metro Line. Okay. Hey, can I, Alliance. I'm feeling slightly underdressed for Nebraska. <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, before I take your bag, do you have any weapons or anything? Nope, no weapons, no. Boarding pass, gate 64 we start boarding 1025. Perfect, thank you very much, have a great day. I was surprised at just how busy Denver Airport was. This is hands down the busiest airport I've seen in a very long time. The security line was over 40 minutes long. Once I finally got through TSA though, I was able to get on the little train to take me across to the gates. Please keep clear and hold on for departure to all A gates. Yep, the little tune on the train was really cute. Hold on please, we are approaching the station. Please watch your step. Right, now's the point where I realise I need to go and get something warm to wear in Nebraska because although it's minus 18 here, it's minus 30 in Nebraska right now in centigrade and this is sort of what I'm wearing. Um, so yeah, let's get something warm to wear. That's better. Let's head to the gate. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Have a good thank you very much. See you later. My ride up to Alliance today then was this Uber call swearing a Metro liner delivered in 1997 to Hainan Airlines of China before going on to Bearskin Airlines in Canada in 2000 and finally on to Key Lime Air later the same year. Sorry, geeking out. <laughs> Hi there, how are you? Guys, how's it going? Yeah, good, how are you? Doing well. Hey, I can just have you sit behind that first seat right there anywhere is fine. Yeah, perfect, thank you. Yeah, welcome aboard. Thank you. Once on board, the cabin's in a 1-1 one -one configuration with staggered rows, meaning alternate rows are missing a seat. This means for loads of legroom. I was joined on this flight by fellow aviation YouTuber Zach from NYC Plane Spotting. I'll pop a link to Zach's channel on the screen now. Right, on board the Denver Air Connection Metro Line, the legroom's not bad, is it? I'm on board with Zach. Hey, <laughs> on. And Zach is also flying to Alliance to fly on the Metro Liner. <laughs> um, he's come all the way from New Jersey to take a ride on it, so this is cool. Just a quick seatbelt check. If you guys go, yeah. just kind of tug on them for me. So here we were then, about to take to the skies in one of the rarest aircraft in the world. Just listen to this engine sound. I'll let you hear the whole thing. Our route up to Alliance today then took us northeast out of Denver to cross into the Nebraska Panhandle, landing into Alliance after a flight time of exactly one hour, cruising at 19,000 feet. So on board the Metro Liner heading to Alliance, Nebraska, how flipping cool 
is this plane to ride on, man. The noise, the sound from those engines, just incredible. The flying pencil, um, I think it has many names um, related to its long phallic shape. But I'll stick with the flying pencil because we're a family friendly channel on here most of the time. Um, so yeah, about an hour's flight from here then um, in Denver up to Alliance, Nebraska. Um, Alliance sees just two flights a day operated by Denver Air Connection on the Metro. We've got a night there tonight when we get there, so we'll be able to land, have a look around, and then tomorrow morning flying back to Denver again on the Flying Pencil. The seats are in this staggered config where you have like an absolute ton of leg room in front of you. I mean, just look at that. Not far off a flight, a life flat bed for a one hour flight. Um, it's interesting, the um, age of the aircraft. It's a pretty old plane now. Um, they've not made them in many years, but the chance to ride on one of these in 2021 is just insane. All too soon we were starting our descent into Alliance, not that you'd know it by looking out of the window. Believe it or not we were on short final at this point, out of the window just a sheet of white. Alliance was, let's just say, a little more remote and bleak than I've perhaps been expecting. It was minus 30 Celsius outside. At this point I was starting to rethink my plans of walking the 5 miles to my hotel. There's no taxi service in Alliance, let alone an Uber, so I was starting to get a little bit worried. Alright guys, welcome to Alliance. We've you remain seated a little bit longer and the captain will let you out. Visibility didn't look great on approach. <laughs> yeah, it was like a half mile or so. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Cheers. Good job, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how where to land. I, I was going to say, say, how did you see it? There, you know? <laughs> it was down there somewhere, but... Right? <laughs> I wish they'd have done at least one little plow to give me a stride, but yeah. I saw it. it was just trying to put it between the lights. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Y'all ready? Thank yep. you. I'm from Minnesota. I'm used to it. Yeah, you're used to it. You're good. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Hey, I'm even crazier. I'm staying over tonight and going back oh, tomorrow. Oh, so. oh you're good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you very much, Thank man. You very See you later. Welcome. Well Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Appreciate it. Thanks for riding with us. You got a ride down to the wherever you're needing to go. I haven't got a ride now. I can give you a ride. If really? You is that yeah, right. I got a little Thank you Polaris so much. Very kind of you. Thank that you. That way you don't have to fuck around. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. You guys picked a hell of a day to fly. Hey, I know, yeah. <laughs> Well, hopefully it's no no worse than this tomorrow, so... <laughs> no, it's supposed to be worse than this tomorrow. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> but I'm not flying tomorrow, so... Oh, you're alright with that, then. You're oh, good. yeah, I'm good. <laughs> Thank you very much. As expected, the airport at Alliance is really tiny. There's just a small cafe and, well, that's about it. There's no car rental either, which makes getting to your destination that little bit trickier. Alliance Municipal Airport was built during World War II and served as a base for over 14,000 paratroopers who went on to take part in the Normandy landings. Its first airline service was with Western DC-3s in the 1940s and Frontier also flew here with Twin Otters but they ended in 1980. In 2003 Great Lakes started serving Alliance once more with Beach 1900s as part of the Essential Air Service. In the 12 months to the end of January 2021, just 2,882 passengers flew through Alliance, or roughly 8 per day, coming in firmly as the least used airport in the lower 48, just below the second lowest, Glendive, Montana, which had 13 more passengers last year. So you guys follow Zach at, what's your, what's your uh, Instagram? JFK.spotting. JFK.spotting on Instagram, yeah? Yeah. Awesome. Awesome meeting you. Give him a follow, yeah. Good to meet have you fun, too. Have fun. <laughs> Enjoy your flight back to um, Denver. So. Thank you, thank you. And hopefully I'll get back out tomorrow if the weather's getting worse. <laughs> <laughs> it was time to join my new friend for the drive yeah, into Alliance. Give me a ride. <laughs> Do you have any, have is that okay this? if we throw that in the back? Absolutely, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Have you? Yeah. Just crawl in there. It's Perfect. Warm. Thank you. What's up, dude? <laughs> oh, I'm oh, in here. Yeah, I know. It's like a heat got wave, it. dude. Got it. Thank you. <laughs> I gotta give him a ride to your grandpa's uh, hotel. Okay. So 
Well, I think uh, we'll drop you off first. Yeah, just jump. Jump out of the shop. Things started, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Where are you from, Australia? England. Holy Christ. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell are you doing clear out here? So, I'm a YouTuber. I make videos of um, my aviation and airlines around the world. Oh, so, uh, I'm going to fly on the Metro Liner and also visit Alliance, which is the least used airport in the mainland US. So, this is? This is, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. I'm telling you, we got everything. Yeah, absolutely. So, <laughs> I've got a night here and then um, hopefully back out tomorrow to Denver, yeah. Oh, so. 24 below. 24 below? That'll make the old nut sack shrink, won't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is my cousin here, so oh, okay. he lives just right over here in the big yeah. hill. Ah, uh, okay. And uh, so it worked out good for us. He brought my Polaris and shit, so we're going to go drop him off. Uh -huh. Then we're going to drop my girlfriend off, and then I'll give you a ride. Awesome, so thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Alliance has a population of just 8,000 people. So what's it like living in Alliance then? Is it a nice place to live? It is a good place. Uh, it's how you accept any place, you know yeah. what I mean? You can make it your home if you accept things. That's it, isn't it? Yeah. It's nice to see real America. Oh, yeah. Uh, we don't get to see much, you know, we get You know, when LA, you get New into York, the big you know, cities, I'm yeah. just going to tell you, it gets kind of evil. Yeah. Okay? But if you get into a small community, we're just, we're close. Yeah. You know, small towns are more home. Definitely. definitely. In my opinion. Definitely. So this is like our little post office yeah. here. And, you know, we got a bunch of banks in this town. Another one. So hopefully we'll have a room here. Good. This gentleman's wondering if you have any rooms available. I do. I've got two kings or two queens, and my rate tonight is 95 plus tax. That's absolutely fine. Uh, uh, king's fine, thank you. Okay. So I just need a form of ID and form of payment from you. Yeah, me. perfect. Thank and you. you're just looking at one night? Just, well, hopefully, unless the weather's um, changes tomorrow and I'm right. stuck here. Do you yeah. guys have uh, um, any transportation for him to get to the airport tomorrow? We do not. Okay, so he'll probably have to call the airport. They can come and get it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm guessing the temp taxes aren't really a thing here then. Yeah, we're just, we're so small here. Yeah. That's the bad thing. Yeah. And you would think that the snow would let up here soon, but it uh, it just keeps looking like it's getting worse and worse every time you look out <laughs> No, there. we just uh, got back from Jamaica. Oh. So, huh. Talk about a change. You know? <laughs> I was just saying, I've been in Mexico for two weeks as well, yeah. so yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> hence why I'm Smoking dressed like this. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. You are. Appreciate that. Thank yeah, you and if you ride. have any problems with something, let me know. I will do. You know, Thank you very I'm much. Because I'm like eight miles from here. Yeah, okay. It ain't no big deal. Well, here we go then. Oh, yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. The quality in. Alliance, Nebraska. Oh, this isn't too bad, actually. Better than I was expecting. Nice view. Out over the snow. Well, there we go. <laughs> Great. Thank you so much to Lanny and his partner for the ride up from the airport here. Um, everybody's so friendly. I don't, oh, don't turn that off. Everybody's so friendly here. I don't know how I would have actually got here um, without it. He said it's a good job he was there because there's no taxis here. There's no Uber here. And it's about a four or five mile drive. Um, into town from the airport um, and in this weather I didn't really fancy walking it so um, hey I don't know how I'm going to get to the airport in the morning that's another question or even if the flight's going to be going tomorrow because speaking to the pilot the weather's closing in tomorrow and it's going to be getting even worse right so I've just had a phone call from the owner of the hotel who is also um, Lanny's uncle who's the guy that dropped me off here <laughs> earlier on today and he's going to take me for a tour of Alliance Nebraska good to meet you Harvey Schnell, pleased to meet you. Hi, Harvey. Nice to meet you. And, uh, You're going to go and take me to see the best tourist attraction in um, Alliance then? Yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> I, we had some friends. Are you from uh, London? Yeah, oh, just outside, like two just hours. Just outside yeah. of London? Yeah. We had some friends uh, we met over there in 90, 95, oh, okay. I think, is a guy by the name of, or the Bob and Curl. Right, okay. That, that don't ring a bell. Well, there's lots of bobs and carols, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Have you lived out here all of your life then? 
Well, I've been I've lived here for 75 years. So. Wow. <laughs> you must like it then, yeah? Well, <laughs> it's home. <laughs> I I don't know. I'm, World War II was still going on when we moved here and we're still here. So. Wow. Oh, would you take a look at this? This well this is Car Henge. And it's a replica of Stonehenge made entirely out of used cars. And it's the number one tourist attraction in Alliance, Nebraska. Look at that. How cool is that? <gasps> there we go. Come to Alliance, Nebraska and you can see Car Henge. Green elevator in Alliance, Nebraska. <laughs> After the excitement of Carhenge and Alliance's largest grain elevator, we stopped at these grain silos, which I have to admit did look very similar to the last ones. It started to feel like we were running out of things to film. And you want to get a picture of some geese? Ah, uh, sure. <laughs> okay. Thankfully, it wasn't long before things started to look up. We found a brewery. I'll get this man a beer. How are you guys? Fine, how are you? Good. Pretty good, thanks. Loving this Nebraska weather. <laughs> it looks different. We haven't it seen that for It's been a while. Oh. It has been a little while. Oh. It's uh, about six miles east of town. And we actually have a little more snow out there. Well, I don't know, would you guys ever know T-Bone? <laughs> T-Bone Marache? Yeah. Her, I work with his son, Porkchop. Oh. Here at the brewery, you can get draft beer to go, which they can on the premises. <coughs> As we headed back to the hotel, it was clear the weather had set in for wondering night. what the status is with that, because we're getting quite a lot of snow up here tonight. It's still all going on time. Okay, great, thank you. Okay, so back in my room at the Quality Inn. <laughs> I had to think that Alliance, Nebraska, and this snow is really coming down. Um, all the guys in the bar were like, half of them were pilots, and they're like, yeah, that flight is not leaving in the morning. Um, even getting to the airport, I mean, I spoke to the public transport company, who are the only sort of people in the town who um, provide taxi services. There's no Uber, of course, there's no taxi here. Um, and they were saying that until the roads get cleared in the morning, there's no way on earth that they are going to be running. Oh, right, it is flipping freezing. We're down to minus 29 right now, uh, with a wind chill of about minus 40. The snow is just getting worse. Um, they say we do another, sort of 10 inches tonight, so who knows um, if we're going to actually get out of here tomorrow, I don't know. It's not looking good, guys. It's not looking good. We have an Arby's um, next to the hotel. But I'm going to see if there's something else because I don't fancy that. Um, let's try and cross the street here without getting... Oh, there's a McDonald's over there. There's a Macca's. Jeez Louise, it is flipping freezing. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, this snow is so deep, man. Oh God, I'm gonna have to walk on the road. Hope I don't get run over. Oh my goodness. You know, just over a week ago, I got here from Mexico. It was plus 30. I liked that temperature. Here it's minus 30, so I've dropped 60 degrees in a week. Oh, it's not meant to be this cold. Why is it so cold? I'll tell you what, I'm certainly glad I bought this gear in them. Um, Denver this morning. Right, let's have a look what we got here. Dollar Tree, Family Dollar, Verizon Wireless, and a Salmon Louis. Oh, that's better. Mmm, calzone. Very nice. Oh, this is huge. Delicious though. Oy, right. Well, there we go. Salmon Louis pizza, really nice. Good bunch of people in there as well. Really nice pizza there. God and Bennett, it's freezing cold out here. <laughs> Minus 30. 
I don't even know if I'm going to be back here tomorrow. Um, I'm hoping to fly out at like 6 a.m. now, so fingers crossed I get to leave and the flight goes and everything. But this weather, man, it's it's not looking good. Well, good morning from Alliance, Nebraska. It's um, 5.30 in the morning. My flight leaves in an hour, um, apparently. Um, we've had a lot more snow overnight. Um, I don't know if you can see out there how it's sort of looking right now. Um, but right now, there's probably about two feet of snow on the ground outside here, at least. But there is cars. I can see cars kind of moving up there, so maybe we'll be all right. Who knows if we're going to get out. Um, I've got a lift coming from Lanny. Lanny, the guy who gave me a lift yesterday, his uncle. He's the guy that took me around on my tour of Alliance yesterday, and he's going to be taking me, hopefully, to the airport. Hey, hello. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? <laughs> Too early. <laughs> would, you, would you like a muffin? I, I would always like a muffin. <laughs> double chocolate, blueberry, oh, and banana nut. Blueberry, if you have one, please. That'd be amazing. Thank you. There's cars on the road, so fingers crossed the um, roads oh, are they're, clear. So they're, the plane's going. The plane's going. Yeah, it came last night. I saw. Yeah. So, it's good. Yeah. So, good. Uh, one of my friends. Oh, thank you. Uh, you want to eat it up for you? Uh, well, I think I'm good. I think okay. I'm good. Yeah. Yeah. One of my friends flew in on that plane. Really? Last night. Uh, I was like, Ooh. it was not good yesterday morning when we landed. Um, they yeah. couldn't. Like, you couldn't see the runway. It was just like white. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the pilot was saying like, I just aim for the lights and hope that. <laughs> <laughs> got it down it's like <laughs> yeah oh, that's right. horrible. so yeah well it's fun it's fun <laughs> <laughs> all right well you fly safe thank you very much well and dylan is out to write a hollywood ending sunday Thank you. Oh, there we go, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, take that. Oh, no, no. I insist, seriously. It's the least I can do. Like, after yesterday and today, I just seriously yeah, get yourself some beers. Well, thank you very much. Good morning. How are you? My apologies. Let me get my mask on there. Hi, Kathy. How are you? Hey, how are you, sweetheart? I'll bet you don't see this very often. <laughs> All right, I just need ID. Yeah, I've got it. Thank you. Did you fly in yesterday? I did, yes. Yeah. Yeah. He was the other airplane enthusiast yesterday. Oh, my. Yes. There were two of us, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I stayed over, and I wasn't sure we were going to get out today. but oh, yeah. um, As far as we know, Denver's weather is good, so yeah. they got a runway cloud. Yeah. Denver good. weather? Good morning. Uh, yep. Good morning. Yep. Pallet said it was better in Denver than here right now. Is, is he the only one leaving this morning? Well, he could be because we're closing that counter here in about three minutes. And <laughs> he's the only one here, so. There was another car pulled in, didn't it? Oh, Another hear. car pulled in in front of us. Oh, yeah. good. Then maybe somebody yeah. else. So maybe there's some, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, anybody else booked? Three. Three people. Three? Yep, three. What, is one of them Ricky? That's no. tomorrow. Is that tomorrow? She, yeah, tomorrow. Tomorrow? Tomorrow, it's tomorrow. Okay. yeah. Yep. Do you want to just do a plain side for that red bag and um, check it? Can I check it, please? You is sure that all right? Who are me. you flying with once you get to Denver? Uh, eventually United. But not today? But well, later on tonight. Like, well, what? do you need... Okay, it's already going to be checked. We can check it all the way to your destination. Can you? Yes. That would be amazing. And then you won't have to worry about it at all. That would be perfect. Okay, yep, if you could check it through, first, yeah. We'll check it all the way through. Thank you. Okay, it looks like you're... Cheers, Everybody Harvey. Here, Thank you right. so much, man. You bet. Appreciate okay. it. He's in good hands here. <laughs> <laughs> He's in good hands here. Well, oh, you bet your life. <laughs> this man has been looking after me. I got a tour of Alliance yesterday. So, nice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's a good man, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. All right. 
washer. There you go. Thank you very don't much. Don't throw this one away because if you get home and you don't have your bag, okay. that's how you're going to find it. Perfect. So Thank you so one. much. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Thank Cheers then, Harvey. Thank, Thank you. Care, See you later, man. Thank you. Take Thank care. you. I'm getting out of the way here. <laughs> so we made it to Alliance Airport and it's a lovely little place this is. The flight is going as far as we know. The runways are flowered, we're ready to go. Um, Alliance was actually, there was an army base here and it was a naval base I think as well back in the war. Um, as is the case with many sort of airports and they use these drones and things. And gliders. A lot of history here, actually, for such a small town. There's a lot of history. Um, and the terminal building's effectively just like a house. Despite the friendly small town nature of Alliance Airport, there's still certain procedures that have to be gone through. Oh, I do, yeah. And for you have a mix, and federal law requires that each person wear a mask at all times throughout the flight. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> sorry, I've got a coffee yet. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you very much. You betcha. Thanks for flying with us. Thank you. I'll maybe see you soon. Safe travels. <laughs> Thank you. Bye bye. My ride back to Denver was on exactly the same metro liner that brought me over yesterday. Thank you. Good morning, sir. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm really good. Thank you. That looks very good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Anywhere behind row four would be great. Behind row four. All right. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. Good morning. So that was that then, it was time to say goodbye to Alliance, the town I'd arrived in less than 24 hours ago but been treated just like one of their own. Denver then took us southwest out of Alliance and back into Colorado. Flight time today was 1 hour and 7 minutes, cruising at 20,000 feet. Right, so we took off. Yay! And we're on our way back down to Denver. This is such a cool little plane. I mean, there was no way on earth I thought we were getting out of there this morning. The state of the weather, the snow, the deep snow everywhere and the fact that it's minus 30 doesn't seem to face this aircraft at all it's incredible no de-icing needed i'm guessing it's probably too cold to need de-ice um, that is often the case but um, i'm not sure there is a bit of ice build up on the wing about an hour's flight now back down to denver colorado we made it You know what, when I decided to book a flight to the least used airport in the mainland US and see what was there, um, I have to admit I did not have a clue what to expect when I got there. What I found there was just the most lovely community in the middle of nowhere in the harshest of environments. This amazing incredible community who all look after one another, they all know one another and took me in like a member of their own family. Honestly, that to me is what small towns are about and that is what life should be like. Everybody just looking after one another, taking care of one another and having everybody's back. You know what? I might never end up going back to Nebraska again. I might never meet Lanny and Harvey again and all the other people that made my trip here so special. But despite all of that, They've left a mark right just here on my heart. It is such a lovely place. And my time here really 
well, I'm going to remember this forever. Did it seem to do you any good? I'd like to say a big thanks to my patrons as well today. You can join them at the link on the screen now to join my WhatsApp group and get access to my weekly Zoom call as well as loads of other benefits. Thank you very much. Morning. Thank you. Thank you. We made it back to the hustle and bustle of Denver International Airport, um, one of the busiest airports in the US. <laughs> what an experience that was, an absolutely incredible time heading up to Alliance, Nebraska and back um, with Denver Air Connection on the Metro Line, that's such a cool place. Um, but also everybody up there in Alliance as well, which was just an incredible experience. Thank you so much to everybody in Alliance, Nebraska, who made my trip there really, really fun. Um, it was great to meet you all, and great to see the town. And guys, if you wanna go and check out Alliance, Nebraska, go ahead. They are such a lovely bunch of people up there, and they'd be happy to have you. In the meantime, as always, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.